Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I would like to talk about sheet pine creation and rivet. Like I studied. First of all, we need we need the size of the sheet pine. So I'm gonna choose the real size of 500 to 200 size and the thickness 24.3. Okay, then another one I I do have the reference of the auto cut here, the side here. So I'm gonna choose this. So this size, I have it, so I, I will in, look into uh, the family, then I will going to create it. Okay, another one. This is a review project. Uh, this is a topo surface. I will going to uh, place a sheet pine along this direction or any this direction, anywhere. But I will follow this surface. Based on that, no, I'm not placing individual sheet pine. I will, I will place all the way, wherever I want it. So I will place around on over the topo okay let's let's get started so first of all we might need to create a family that the sheet pine is part of the structure foundation i was going to create the structure foundation family over here just open it okay that's the we have a reference here so we might need the parameter of that is i will play this a 500 right over here and the 200 another 200 right over here okay so this parameter will be 500 and 200 then i will apply the length okay length is already there cut it so I was going to here, the length is 500 and the width is 200, all right, over here, okay, length and width. Okay, we have this uh, parameter, then I will load in, load the cut into here, the sheet pine right over here, okay, it's coming over here, so I was going to create the extrusion just pick line Okay, we got this, then what you need to do is this, just click OK. Then go into the front view, we need to create the parameter and the foundation depth. This is, I will made it 18, uh, no, 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 not 18 meter, it's turned aside like 20 meter over here. The foundation thickness is foundation depth. So I will create the foundation depth and length. got the sheet fine right over here then we need to apply the material and whatever that, that is like okay for, forget about so the 
like there is a random material or whatever is a material right over here and I will create it Using this one first, then click OK. And we already applied the material, then save the file into the here sheet file. Sheet file, we are side is a VR. So you just leave it here. Then we need to create, uh, we need to create a blaster pose. So I was going to using the railing system family along this way and along this direction any direction you want to place it you will follow uh, follow the surface then I was going to choose a family railing family then okay this is we uh, create a structure foundation then we load into the blaster foundation uh, the blaster family then create it and then family then blaster post over here okay this is the left side then I was going to using this uh, the really then look into the blaster look into the family tree okay and this direction are right over here so I will gonna need this hold on this one out of cut view is coming over I don't I will not need it this family okay then save it and then log into the family tree overwrite the family right over here then we might need another one uh, we need to log in here let's lock it and lock over right here then we might need the copy over here Okay, rotate it then first of all and this block here This is the one I created this left side. So we need the blaster height. Uh, and always the sheet pine will not be inside the ground. It's always it's true above the ground, about the 150 or 300, whatever. Because of that the sign left pine is he driving down into the ground that uh, will not be uh, like a disappear. So we just leave it the 150 or 200 or 300 or something like that. So uh, for this case, I was choosing. 150 so I will choose the 150 right over here so I will be log into the this guy and lock it and right over here and then lock it then look over here the 3d view so the, and this one close it this is a reference view then you measure it to the length might be one meter so please remember this guy so just save the file this one it should be the blaster uh, sheet pine blaster sheet pine uh, blaster post sheet pine blaster post and save it. What you need to do is just log into the project, close and log into the project. You're already here, so the sheet pine I can close it. Then this is the first view. So I will call to the railing. The railing is going to the R key and going to the railing. Whatever the default railing, you can choose it. Then you, uh, you are going to change that one. It's a duplicated. That's a sheep pie. Sheep pie family. Right over here. Then we don't need them all. So, or remove it. We remove them. Says OK. Then we will place to the blaster. We don't need the top railing also. We don't need that so we were using this guy 
so the blaster sheet by blaster got it who's to the, uh, the one the top of is the 150 top outside might be the 150 because we want to is true from the ground the 150 then is top is a hose and that one is hose so one meter you remember in the blaster we have created the one meter from the top side to the uh, top to the downside direction top to the down direction is a one meter so we were just put the one 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 milli and then nine 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 so to the speed around here the pattern length might be the one meter exactly so we don't need that is never so beginning and then beginning and then never so those a blaster the corner i don't want it because this, this is a black uh, the sheet pine is a connection link it's very hard to uh, connect each other so better do not choose those then all is none okay this is that is the one sheet pine creation okay so i was going to to this direction over here so I will pick to the surface look over here this is the one you can create it the sheet by and how about is the placement is like currently he following you look over here 150 the is all the way to segment is followed by the surface then the two segment here or two segment here and the two around over here it's just like that okay we try another one another direction is like the different direction right over here and place to this surface he will following you this like this look like this any shade or the this uh you want to using the uh, sheep eye wall use this method is very useful is like uh time is reducing uh when you're doing the modeling scale you can be a great this kind of method is uh, when you're using the single uh, sing, uh, single sheet pine, you want to place it one by one. The time is where we consume a lot. So this method is like just a few seconds, just a few minutes. I doing about the ten minutes. or everything is done. So whatever you want, you shade it. You, you want to create it or look over here. This is the same layer. So I was choosing this and this direction. Look over here and to this surface look over here how nice it how nice it is look look over here if you want to the base also like at a 500 you have it maybe higher ground from that This one is our media 300. Look at this. Okay, this method is very useful for you to create it is any any construction project using like a sheep and wall or whatever this uh, whatever that shape it then following following the surface this is very useful I hope you guys get it this and I hope you guys doing doing well uh, followed by this video and then see you next video bye bye